Anything else you, that we didn't ask you about? Anything else you want to hit on like that would just kind of sum this whole thing up for somebody who couldn't experience it, somebody who couldn't be here? Give me a second to think about it. Sure. Take as long as you want to. Care what happened last week? Uh, you don't care what's going to happen next week. The wilderness has a way of doing that to you. Good Ed. I'll be your huckleberry. Let's go, Doc. These mountains have been here for billions of years. They're going to outlive all of us. Uh, a lot of the other things that we see in life are so, so they're man-made, they're artificial, and we need them, uh, I guess, in our civilization. But we also need to be able to go back out in the wilderness and, uh, and connect with nature. You know, leaving the service is hard because you're trying to find out who you are now without having that mark to define you anymore, that daily uniform every day. Um, I've been recently going through, through some pretty personally hard times and I needed something that I could build up my self-confidence and maybe meet some people, uh, help out with my social anxiety. The one thing that I want to get out of this course is the, the, just the recognition that we're a human being and we're a social uh, animal and to be, to embrace people in general. Uh, I do a lot of stuff alone. It gets lonely when you just, you know, travel around. And many people are afraid of going out in the woods uh, because it's, it represents a hostile environment. But out here, I think the veterans recognize how much peace that it brings. My biggest takeaway from this experience is the power of humanity. Here we are, we had a group of 14 people from different walks of life who didn't know each other, but we had one common link with that link, we were able to set aside all of our differences, help each other out with almost, almost zero conflict. You got shot with Chewbacca's gun, man. That thing's like a rocket. I really enjoyed everybody that I met out here. I really enjoyed the conversations that we had. Everybody seemed really wanting something. Um, and I hope that they found it. Every single ridge that we hit together as a group felt great because we knew the effort that it was going to take to be able to freaking get to each ridge. Man, the trek up, starting from the bottom, I really didn't, I didn't think we were going as high as we did. I told myself, I was like, there's no way I'm going up there. There's no absolute possible way. It was definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done. Uh, when you get up and you stand on these, on the top of these peaks or these ridges and you look out there and you realize how you've struggled to get up there and you have to reach take down within yourself to, to get up on top of something. We'll the first little bump and then we'll see what getting to the next one looks like, but it might be us right here. I'm not enjoying it. Holy fucking shit! Oh yeah, man, we're not making a good picture. Yeah. Ah! Now roll down! <laughs> Once we got to the top, I was I was in tears. I didn't I couldn't believe like 
because about 100 feet down, I was looking at the top thing, and there's no way I could get up there next to all those people standing there. We uh, we're strong believers in wilderness therapy. Uh, we are not therapists. We let the wilderness do that. Find your own little place, and uh, this is be quiet. Kind of think about things. You know, think about what uh, today might have meant to you. Hopefully, meant to you. I've been diagnosed with PTSD. Um, you know, it's, it's it's hard for me to be around group uh, setting, and so one of the things that I want to get out of this course is, hey, you know what? It's okay. There's people that's willing to help you and people that's willing to be around you and just be your friend. Because I think part of this experience is you, you can really, really build a lasting friendship because all of us has gone through something that most people haven't. And getting out to something like this in a group setting of other people and seeing that you're not struggling alone, that you, you know, you, you, what problems you see like that you have that causes you to not be able to identify with others is not, you know, something that's unique to you and, and something that can be shared and helped with other people. It's a cleansing thing for them and it, we, we, like to, we like to see that. We want to see that they've been pushed to that limit where they can get it out there in the open, maybe look at it, and they can walk away here feeling that, hey, I'm not alone. When I go to places like this, it uh, gives me time to think about friends, <sighs> my life. I only miss a few people. My family, my kids, and my partner. They're all wonderful people. And uh, sometimes being alone allows you to appreciate them. And hopefully we can always treat those people better. And that's it, thanks.